Welcome everyone, it's Mr. Man here, and in today's Diablo Immortal video, we're going to be talking about possibly the most frequently asked question, and that is, as a free-to-play player, how can you get more combat rating? As you can see here, I have collected all the vessels for the shrine, and if you look to the left, I am getting hundreds of stats and combat rating. And the best thing about this is that you can get it for free and these stats are permanent. Plus, you can also level up the vessels again for free for even more stats. Let's jump into it. Understandably, you can get confused by this because for some unknown reasons, Diablo Immortal developing team decided to give it way too many names. First, the place is called Ibn Fad Sanctum, which is already weird enough for me. Then inside you have the shrine, which after you click on it, opens the legacy of Horadrim. Now in order to get any stats out of it, you need to bring vessels and slot them in, and these vessels can also be upgraded with materials you get from opening chests inside the sanctum with Asperon's key. So this being said, it's quite obvious why people don't know about it and understand it, because oh my days, there are so many confusing names and terms just for this alone. Now luckily, Diablo Immortal has a lot of quality of life features, and this is one thing I love about it. If you click on pretty much anything, you can find additional information. Let's have a look on what is the legacy of Horadrim. As you can see, you can find all the information here. It talks about activating the vessels, upgrading, aspirant's keys, and so on and so forth. This might seem to be hard to understand, so I'm going to simplify it and explain the best way I can. First of all, you unlock the Sanctum once you hit level 49. Now, one other thing you need to do after reaching 49 is to complete level 10 Challenge Rift. Once you've marked these two requirements, you are pretty much good to go. As soon as you have unlocked the Sanctum, this will become a daily activity and by going inside every day, you will be able to do two things, fight enemies that will drop keys and open chests that will give materials needed to upgrade the vessels. One other thing I need to mention is that you can only get 4 to 5 keys a day for the drops here. But don't worry, there's a couple of other ways you get more keys for free. You can purchase up to 5 a day from the Hilt Trader with Hilts. The assembly is another great way to get keys. It gives up to 15 for basically not doing anything, but just going in there, virtually shaking hands with player, passing blessings, or just staying AFK. Bear in mind that this event starts at 6 p.m. server time, every day. If you join the shadows and complete three elder rifts every day, you will get three blessed chests, which contains keys as well. Or you can get even more keys by playing PvP Battleground or joining the Shadow War. But to compete in the Shadow War, first you need to join a clan. Now let's talk about the most important thing in this video, where to get all the vessels. Starting clockwise, Authority Vessel, that gives you increased damage, drops after defeating LaSalle, the 8-man raid. The Guild of Nameless, alongside with Zoltan Kul's Ingenuity Vessels, that gives resistance and potency, can be found in the library after defeating the Golem and the Hydra world bosses. As for the locations, here is the Golem, and here is the Hydra. In order to spawn the bosses, whenever you come to the library, a special quest will pop up in your quest tab. It will tell you to collect 5 lost pages. The pages can be found everywhere inside the library. They spawn basically randomly, and anyone can pick them up pretty much. After collecting 5, you will automatically get one tome. By using it, two things can happen. A portal could randomly open sending you to a secret room, where you fight a mini boss for some rewards or have a 50-50 chance to spawn either one of these two world bosses. The great thing here is that anybody can spawn the bosses, and also people usually shout out in the chat. If you have no page at all and you find it boring to collect them, you can just try your luck, go there, see if the bosses are up, and go for the kill. Next one, Knowledge Vessel, can be found in the mount. You get it after killing the Nightmare boss. This one is time-bound. So in order to find out when the boss spawns, you just have to go inside the mountain and check your quest tab. It will automatically show the time there for everybody. This is where the world boss spawns. Next one along the list, Compassion Vessel, and one of the easiest ones to find. You get it by completing level 10 Challenge Rift. It doesn't matter if it's solo or in a party. Tenacity Vessel, 
As you can see, I don't have it yet. This one requires you to be very lucky to get it. As it states there, it drops whenever you open chests inside the sanctum. If you click on the exclamation mark, you can see the drop rates as well. And it's 1%, which is pretty low, so good luck with that. Followed by Vision Vessel. This one is again an easy one. You get it at level 60 by completing the main story. Now finally, for the last two, we have Piety Vessel, which gives armor, can be found in the mount, and you get it after killing Lord Martinus. This one is another simple one to get. I will show you the location and how to spawn the boss. And don't worry, you can spawn the boss every 30 minutes just by clicking on its tube. Last one, Precision Vessel. This gives armor penetration. It can be a bit challenging. In order to get it, you need to be hell one and above difficulty and defeat another world boss. The problem with this specific boss is that when it reaches around half HP, it does an AoE attack that pulls everybody around close to it and heals back up. You might find it difficult to kill just because not so many people know that you need to dodge the attack and get out of the range so you don't get pulled in for the boss to heal up. And might be a bit frustrating when you see mindless chickens spamming attacks all the time. For this you have to understand how the boss works, so be patient and cautious when you're trying to kill it. Now that you know where to find everything, there is no reason at all to hold you down from getting all these extra stats and boost your combat rating. Also, if you're interested in how to maximize your game time, I'll leave a link in the description with the best daily routine everyone should do. I hope this video helped everyone, and if you have any questions at all, let me know in comments down below. Also consider liking and subscribing so we can get the channel out there flying. I'll see you all next time, alright? Bye bye!